You need to learn how to defend yourself. And in the next 90 seconds, I'm going to give you one tip that could save your life. Okay, this tip might not save your life, but I guarantee it will make a huge impact if you're not doing it already. The holiday shopping season is here now, and you're going to find yourself in a store, in the mall, in a grocery store, in a crowded aisle, trying to get through, trying to find something, pull something off the shelf, and you're going to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and you're going to hear it over and over and over again, coming out of your mouth and into your brain. And if you're a mom and you've got kids in the cart, you've got a little girl in the cart, she's going to hear that over and over and over again. And that's what she's going to think that you're supposed to say. And you're not supposed to say that because you don't really mean it. And it doesn't make any sense. And it puts you on your heels. And it puts you in a weak position. And it's not appropriate anyway. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, as you're trying to get through, you can say, excuse me, pardon me. And if someone moves out of your way, instead of saying, I'm sorry, say, thank you. It's a really small change, but it has a profound effect on the quality of your life. You have to stop putting yourself second. Stop putting everybody else's needs in front of yours. This is a self-defense tip because this is going to make you carry yourself in a much different way and predators look for victims. This is also a self-defense tip because all those I'm sorry's, I'm sorry's, I'm sorry's which pushes you back and back and back into your shell and into a weak position is going to have a long-term effect on your happiness and the quality of your life. So this holiday shopping season, take a deep breath, throw your shoulders back, stomach up and in, white knuckle that shopping cart if you need to, but walk through there like you are in your space and you have every right to be there. The words that come out of your mouth have powerful meaning to everybody around you, but mostly to yourself.